What I want to demonstrate now is um, a couple of uh, a couple of other hitches, and these uh, these are good for hanging fenders. Um, they're binding hitches, and they're also um, knots that will make a loop. So I want to demonstrate one of my favorite knots called a clove hitch. And the way that you tie a clove hitch, and, and, and what you tie a clove hitch to, whenever you have a line that's smaller than a post that you're tying the line to, you can do a clove hitch. So a clove hitch, you pass the line around a post, this is a stanchion in this case, uh, one time, and you can see that it's a cross under turn, and then you do the exact same turn one more time, and that's basically a clove hitch. And what it should look like is two lines running under this diagonal line. Now, what I'm going to do, because these can kind of come loose, they're not going to come undone, but they can come loose. And one thing that's important about fenders is you do not want your fenders in the water. You want your fenders to be just above the water, which is usually just about the right height to protect your boat from the dock but you do not want them in the water. Things will start to grow on the fenders, they'll get yucky. And the problem, the big problem with that is, is when you take off, you bring your fenders aboard and now all that stuff's on your boat. But the last thing I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna do a single half hitch around the line. And I call it a half hitch when I tie it back to the standing part of the line. So that's a clove hitch with a single half hitch.